I was a, a youngster. I uh, used to crew for a friend of mine, uh, Bobby Van Horn. We graduated together in Belport. And uh, Bobby owned a Beetle Cat, and I was his crew. Old time clamorers used uh, cat boats quite frequently to, to uh, clam with, but. I would say out of the 20 beetle cats that were owned in Bellport, I must have known almost everybody that had one. As kids, we would go over on the flats and over to Bird Island or, or someplace with crab nets and crab uh, clam rakes and uh, catch some crabs, catch, dig up some clams, start a fire up on shore and, uh, and cook the crabs and clams right in the open fire. I guess it just brought back memories from when I was a kid. It's a great, it's a great boat for uh, sailing in the area. Uh, it's, it's a nostalgic thing, I think, and it's a good boat for the you know for the flats and such. So we took out all of what was left of the floorboards. And we saved them all because each one's got a different shape to it. Then we had to go and replace. 80% of the ribs, I would say, put sister ribs next to them. So we had to measure each one of them. When I say we all the time, I'm talking about John Taylor, who runs the uh, Tooker's Boatyard down here. So John and I had to measure each one of these uh, ribs. We cut up oak, probably one by one, and um, took a long four-inch copper tube, capped one end of it, filled it partially with water and uh, put a, a burner to it and uh, dip the uh, ribs in a couple at a time and steamed them and then took them out and bent them and put them in place. It was mostly cedar and oak in the entire boat. We did make some changes on that, but we kept a lot of it the same too. We uh, ended up making the centerboard trunk and the transom out of uh, mahogany. It's beautiful, and we had the wood, so we gave it a shot. Everything you take out, you have to save and copy it exactly uh, so that it fits back in when you, you you make your new piece. And if you don't save it, then you have to trace it up against the boat, and, and, uh, and there's never any right angles. It's always different, different angles going on, and it's a little trial by error. Uh, you take off a little at a time and you fit it, and take off a little bit more and fit it, and go back. It's, it's, it's very time consuming. I intend to sail it over to uh, Bellport Beach, uh, and I, I intend to take it out clamming and, and crabbing and whatever. I mean, I enjoy that. I mean, I do have a clam boat, but it's, it's, it's more fun just to noodle around in the sailboat, I think.